July 9th, the executive order came out from Governor Young. The DOE was then, they had to come up with guidelines on how to do the executive order. So they sought input from, they took two months here, from July 9th through September 16th. They collected input. They collected input from parents, teachers, students, all kind of input through this time. Got it to the school board, and they approved the policy on October 10th. No phones in elementary school, in school, or on the bus. That is exactly what we do now. Secondary, no phones bell to bell from the start of the day to the end of the day. Um, before and after school and on the bus is okay. That's exactly what our middle schoolers are doing right now. <coughs> the big problem comes with our high schoolers, because they had it between classes and they had it at lunch. So we knew we were going to have a problem. Okay, There's a lot of them. So we started talking to the kids. How do we implement this? We had several meetings. Mr. DePere went out to several schools. We have an advisory board of about 21, pe 21 students. We had 18 the day we met with them all. There's from each high school, uh, about six to seven kids represent. So we talked to all these kids like, okay, can we put them in the lockers? We don't have lockers. We don't use lockers. There's not even enough lockers at JF. We don't have enough lockers. Um, book bags. We don't allow them to carry book bags. Then we said, okay, well, if we put them in your book bags and turn them off, be honest. Would you use them? Absolutely. Yes. One day of ISS, and the phone is confiscated. The parent has to come pick it up at the end of the day. Second violation, confiscation. The parent gets to the end of the day, three days of ISS. <laughs> same thing except for well same thing on confiscation parent has to pick it up at the end of the day um, parent has to have a meeting with administration then meet with administration and it is a one day out of school suspension um, if at that point the cell phone you're not allowed to use your cell phone on campus which means in the building you can have it in your car uh, for 18 weeks and then you're on probation for violate that probation the 180 days you can't have a cell phone so then you look at a bedford county student and a student from northern virginia both competing for a scholarship both trying to get into a college both of them made one mistake and got caught with the cell phone policy northern virginia they took their time for one hour they took the phone away and gave it back to them in bedford they set an in-school suspension and it's now on their record these consequences do not fit the crime. I'm all for a bell-to-bell -bell policy. I don't have a problem. But this is ridiculous. not right at all. They need to be completely reviewed. We need to compare with what's going on in Northern Virginia. Yeah. Or just the ones that are in the